wholesaling seems to be a hot topic. And one of the first things you need to do when you're entering a market to wholesale is learn where people are already buying homes. You want to know where people are buying homes, where transactions are happening. And there's a really simple way to do this that doesn't cost you anything. And I want to show you that right now. All right, the first thing you need to do is you need to go over to listsource.com and set up a free account. Mine's already set up and I've already logged in, so I'm just going to click forward so you don't have to see my info. As you can see, you know, these are recent save searches, but I've I've definitely bought several lists through here, but I, I actually use PropStream a lot when I'm pulling data and, you know, I can leave a link down below for that, but you can get really minute into your search criteria. So if you want to get really, really, really specific, there's that's a great way to do it, but check this out. You click create your own and we're going to do, we'll, we'll just do the county near me, right? So county, and this is not the county I invest, invest in by the way, but California, we'll say, where is it at? San Diego County. All right. And so again, that's county, state, add, and then you're going to go over here to property and you're going to do property type. You can go through here or whatever. I just, I go to detailed property types. That's just what I've always done. And we're just going to use single family homes and you can get really specific. You can do other stuff too, but for this, we're just doing single family homes. Add that over here. So again, detailed property type, single family homes. And then we're going to go to last market sale date down here to the last six months. Add. So you can see that there's 549,000 uh, properties in that county that are single family residences, right? And then as you add the last six months, 10,329 have sold. All right. So that's what that's telling us. Now, then what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to options. And I uh, do not have a preference on corporate owned. I don't care if an LLC bought it or an entity bought it. That's, you know, I buy stuff in an LLC, an entity, even single family homes. If you do like duplexes or apartments or whatever, you're going to find even more properties bought corporate owned. And then I like to click both mailing and property address complete to make sure it's a complete list, right? And then what you're going to do after you have, so again, oh, sorry, we want absentee owned as well. So absentee owned means that somebody who did not live in the property purchased it and that cut it down to 2000, so about 20%. So that's generally an investor, right? So someone who didn't live in the property purchased it. We don't care if they have an LLC. We want both the mailing and, and property address. And then you go to purchase list. And then here's the real trick. You're not actually going to purchase the list, you know, purchase partial list, custom selection, zip code. And when you'll see, here's the 2,189 records. And as you scroll through, you can see very quickly, okay, 92056 zip code, 51 transactions, 92037, 75, 92057, that's actually where I live. 56 whereas say 92060 had two and 92067 had 63 and so you can go over you can export this put in your email address and it'll pop up as an excel and then when you export it as an excel you can arrange those highest to lowest and the highest are the ones that you want to market to so those are the zip codes that are the hottest right now but watch this i also want to show you a trick to find the buyers in that area so this is even more awesome so same, same thing, right? We go all the way back here, go to County, California, San Diego, go back to property type, detailed, single family, last market sale date, six months, and here's the difference. Equity, oh, not Homestead. Equity percent. Go down to here is a custom box, type 99 to 100. Add it, and that cut it down to 1,000 right there. That, what that's telling the computer to do is to only look at properties that were purchased in the last six months and have 99 to 100% equity. So this is catch cash purchases. Same thing, absentee owned. That brings it down to 460. Um, we don't care if it's a corporate, so that puts it up to 670, both mailing and property address are complete. Purchase the list. 
Again, purchase partial list, custom selection, zip code. And you can see similar zip codes, 92009, um, oh. So 92064, 92067, 92069. And again, you could arrange these, but 92067 has 25. Oop, there we go. 92037 has 44 homes that in the last six months, somebody who was absentee and did not live in the property paid cash for. And so what you can do is you can purchase this list, right? So you can go over here, you can purchase the list for 135 bucks, or you can add more details to it if you want, but you can purchase the list. And then that will tell you who owns the property so that tells you who the transaction was right so now you know that whoever bought that home paid cash in the last six months so they're a cash buyer in that zip code and you might find as you as you go through the excel document you rack and stack they may have bought several properties in that zip code you might find someone who's bought three or four houses and then you can you have their contact information you can reach out to them and talk to them about their strategy what they're looking for you know you can figure out the circumstances and so what you're doing here is you're finding a way. The first one is figure out what zip codes are the hottest. The second one is figure out who's buying in those zip codes. If you get want to get really crazy from here, what you can do is you can, depending on your county and what they show on tax records, you can cross-pollinate uh, like what that person owns. You can cross-pollinate purchase price. And so you can literally go through, and if you're savvy enough, you, you cross-reference this with tax records and whatever, and you can figure out this one buyer bought three homes for $400,000 in this market. So now I know that if I get a home for $350,000 under contract in this market, that I can take it to that buyer and say, hey, I see that you bought three homes for 400K in this market. I've got a home, I'll sell it to you for $390,000. And then you can stand to make a $40,000 assignment fee. So that's kind of reverse wholesaling in a way, like reverse wholesaling is where you go to the guy and you say, hey, I've got this house, how much are you willing to pay for it? And then you negotiate back from that. Whatever you're able to negotiate is what you get to keep and if that makes sense. But in a way, it's similar because you're finding a list of people that you know are buying houses at a certain price. You get a house under contract for less. You bring it to them and say, hey, this is what I got. Are you interested? Bada bing, bada boom. So this is how you find the hottest zip codes in your area and potential buyers to put on your buyers list. It's a great strategy. It's not hard. Definitely recommend you take the time to do it buy the list, start networking with those buyers, and just get familiar with the area. It's really smart. But again, if you want to get really, really intricate on what kind of people you're looking to buy homes for or what uh, market, like really specific on list stuff, I'm a huge fan of PropStream. I'm going to do a few more videos on PropStream and reviews, but I'll put a link down below if you want to check that one out. It, it's not free like list source, but man, you can pull some crazy data with it. So uh, really cool. Definitely a fan. Check it out. I hope this helps someone out. Hope this, uh, if you if you get a deal from doing this, like if this helps you find a deal, please put the comment down below and let me know because I think that'd be really cool. Have a great day.